first from thousands of people going unpaid to reports of fraud. Kentucky's unemployment office has had several problems over the last year, and now a new audit is revealing a new problem. Staff accessing their own accounts. Dennis Ting explains. It was absolutely unacceptable. At least 10 employees with the Kentucky Office of Unemployment Insurance access their own unemployment accounts. That's what Kentucky Auditor Mike Harmon details in the second volume of his audit for the state's fiscal year 2020. They had actually received training that they were not supposed to access their claims, and yet they did so anyway. Harmon says there is no direct evidence that any of these employees made changes to their accounts, but says accessing them, in some cases several times, opens up the door to fraudulent behavior. You've got people that can't even get any dollars, and others that can potentially access even more than their, their salary. The audit mirrors the findings done by the state inspector general's investigation earlier this year, which found some Office of Unemployment Insurance employees were claiming benefits while still working full time. Harmon says one of the big issues is with the lack of safeguards in place to prevent fraud. The report identifies around $665 million in unemployment insurance benefits as questioned costs. We list that as questionable costs, not because all of it was paid out fraudulently, but because it was paid out during a time frame the controls were turned out when the likelihood of fraud is at a much higher risk. Harmon says the unemployment office also suspended collections as part of the Treasury offset program without getting permission and has still not resumed collections of unemployment compensation debt as of this February. Harmon has referred this case to the office of the attorney general for additional review for possible criminal issues. And it was not OK and it denigrates the hard work of every other UI employee that showed up to do the right thing each and every day. Governor Andy Bashir said Thursday some of the employees have been terminated, but he has not said how many. Dennis Ting, WHAS 11 News.